Hey everybody, Craig Head here with the Nebraska Farm Bureau at the Nebraska State Capitol. And with me today is Ansley Fellers, who is our Director of State Governmental Relations. Ansley's here to give us a legislative preview. Sure. So obviously our priority, like it is often um, the last couple of years, is property tax relief. And I think um, the Revenue Committee here at the legislature has been meeting for a couple of days. There's a proposal out there and Farm Bureau is re reviewing that currently. Um, and we're you know, very optimistic about um, the negotiations and the conversations that have been happening within the committee and just with all of the senators who I think understand um, the burden of property taxes on agriculture. I think now more than ever there's an understanding that Nebraska ag producers pay more in property taxes than just about anyone in the country and um, not just that but um, homeowners and residential residential and commercial property owners in Nebraska pay a lot as well. Um, I think senators are hearing that and I think there's a real desire to get something done, especially um, this year, you know, like folks maybe have seen prison reform, um, some other priorities for folks like um, business incentives, you know, there's a real desire, I think, to come to some sort of compromise and actually get something really meaningful done. That's great. A little bit different situation this year too, right? There's some dollars available that weren't maybe available last year. You want to talk about that maybe a little bit? Yes, that is something Nebraska Farm Bureau, um, all of, I think, just about all the agriculture groups in Nebraska, the governor, um, a lot of revenue committee members agree that the excess revenue um, above and beyond the forecasted revenue in the state should go to property tax relief. And that's sort of, um, you know, for, first and foremost, what we're focused on, that if we're gonna have, we have excess revenue, um, we have a little bit uh, of cushion there, and we think that that should be used to fund property tax relief. Okay, a ton of focus gonna be on property taxes this session for sure. Right. Another big issue, broadband. Uh, maybe talk a little bit of what's happened since last session on broadband. Yeah, so in November, the Rural Broadband Task Force, which was appointed uh, two years ago, actually came out with some recommendations for the legislature. Um, the policies, you know, some of the statutes, things that are going to have to be introduced as a result of those recommendations, we'll see at least one, I know, um, maybe related to easements. There are some other ideas presented by the task force that I, I hope um, will be pursuing, like, uh, you know, potentially um, leasing dark fiber, having public power leasing dark fiber, making that a little bit easier uh, to private companies. And again, the easements, um, allowing for access, uh, for communications access to those easements. Um, there will certainly be a lot of discussion about those things. I don't know that it will just fly through, but it, right. it's something that is exciting because it's progress. Um, senator Brandt, also a rural senator, um, is bringing a bill related to mapping and potentially allowing Nebraska, or I guess putting Nebraska at the front of um, the the line when it comes to getting some federal funding to deploy rural broadband. So we're also really interested in that. That's good. Sounds good. Wouldn't be a legislative session if we didn't talk about livestock a little bit. I think there's always something going on with livestock. What, what do you see on the horizon for this session with that? Absolutely. So a couple things. Um, one, Nebraska Farm Bureau, are they're kind of our counterparts in ag. Um, and some other uh, stakeholders have talked about maybe reviewing our livestock siting matrix, mm -hmm. um, seeing how that's going in various counties, where it's been adopted, um, why it hasn't been adopted necessarily more ubiquitously, um, you know, if it's working, if it as intended. Um, you know, I know some counties have actually adopted the matrix formally. Some counties are using it sort of informally. And we want to know where that is and if it's actually resulted in more livestock development and more economic development in those counties. And if it hasn't, um, why? And what do we need to make better? Um, and if it has, how do we need to sort of get the word out and, and sort of spread it across the state um, more ubiquitously? Okay. Sounds good. Property taxes, broadband, livestock. Uh, but it's a short session, so maybe talk about the session, just kind of the setup, right? We're in the 60-day session this yep. year, right? This will be a 60-day session. It'll end at the end of April, um, or toward the end of April, I should say. Um, there's a lot to do. Um, we Right now, they'll do bill introductions for the first 10 days of the session. Um, public hearings start on January 21st, so that'll sort of limit, um, you know, half-day debate kind of, and public hearings will be in the afternoons. And then in March, they'll start full-day debate. So they'll have March and April to do full-day floor debate. Um, which is generally when a lot of the things start moving. But um, we're hopeful, like I said, we're hopeful that we'll we can see some things move early in the session, um, you know, depending on what comes out of the Revenue Committee and when, um, especially in property taxes. And, you know, the Ag Committee has its hands full. They're doing a lot of <laughs> things, too. The Department of Agriculture has a, a bill we're, you know, closely monitoring to, to update some of their regs. And like I said, I, I think there's a desire to get stuff out and moving quickly, and we're hopeful that can happen. Sounds good. Sounds good. Like a lot of work moving forward here. Yes. Things get rolling. All right. Anything else, Ansley, you want to add? I think that's it. All right. Great. Thank you very much, Ansley. Appreciate it. Thanks. Stay tuned to nfb.org for more information.